Welcome to Tech Learning. In instrumentation and control systems, valves are essential for regulating the flow of fluids. Today, we will explore the different types of valves used in instrumentation. So let's start the video. Control valves. A control valve regulates fluid flow by adjusting its opening between 0% and 100%, based on external signals, such as a 4 to 20 mA input. This allows it to adapt dynamically to changing conditions, ensuring precise control of process variables like flow, pressure, temperature, and level. Key features of control valves are, precise control, control valve fine-tunes process variables for stability. Adjustable opening, allows modulating flow as per requirements. And reliable operation, it ensures consistent performance under various conditions. Needle valves. A needle valve is used for precise control of fluid flow. It is like a precision instrument. The needle valve has a small port and a threaded, needle-shaped plunger that regulates flow. The plunger is typically connected to a handle or a stem, allowing fine adjustments. The needle valve can be imagined as a precise throttle, controlling the amount of fluid flowing through a pipe. Needle valves often used in applications requiring high accuracy. Ball valves. A ball valve is a quarter-turn valve. It uses a spherical ball with a hole, called a port, through its center, to control the flow of liquids. When the hole is aligned with the flow direction, the valve is open, allowing fluid to pass. And, when the ball is rotated 90 degrees, the ball becomes perpendicular to the flow, and the valve is closed. The key features of ball valve are, it is simple, reliable, and quick operation. Gate valve. Gate valve is also known as sluice valve. It uses a flat or wedge-shaped gate to block or allow flow. These valves are typically used to start or stop the flow, in a pipeline, and when closed provide a tight seal. The key features of gate valves are, minimal flow restriction, when fully open, gate valves provide minimal resistance to flow, making them ideal for applications where a free flow is needed. Isolation, gate valves are commonly used for isolating portions of a pipeline, preventing or permitting flow to specific areas as needed. Durability. They are designed for use in high-pressure and high-temperature environments, often found in industries like oil and gas, water treatment, and power plants. Gate valves are not typically used for regulating or throttling flow, as they can cause turbulence and damage to the valve when partially open. Globe valves. A globe valve is used for throttling or regulating fluid flow. It's like a variable throttle. The globe valve has a plug or disc that controls flow. Globe valve, often used in applications requiring pressure regulation, flow control, temperature control. Globe valves are commonly used in power plants, chemical processing and oil and gas industries. The key features of globe valves are good control, high pressure ratings, and reliable operation. Check valves. Check valve is also known as non-return valve. They allow flow in one direction and automatically close if flow reverses. It's like a one-way door. Check valves are essential in preventing backflow, protecting equipment from damage, and maintaining system pressure. Check valves are used in water treatment plants, industrial processes, HVAC systems, and many more. Relief valves. Relief valve is designed to release excess pressure in a system. It's like a safety valve. The relief valve automatically opens to release excess pressure and closes when pressure returns to normal. There are various types of relief valves like spring-loaded relief valve, pilot-operated relief valve, diaphragm relief valve, and pressure relief valve. Relief valves protect equipment and piping from damage caused by overpressure. Thermal expansion. System failure. Relief valves are used in power plants, hydraulic systems, chemical processing, and oil and gas industries. Solenoid valves. A solenoid valve is an electromechanical device used to control fluid flow. It consists of a solenoid coil, plunger and spring. When coil is energized, it generates a magnetic field, moving the plunger to open or close the valve. There are two types of solenoid valve, normally closed or NC type, and normally open or NO types. Solenoid valves are commonly used in industrial automation, fuel injections, robotics, and in medical devices. Key features of solenoid valves. Fast operation, high precision, and reliable control. Pneumatic valves. Pneumatic valve is controlled by a pneumatic signal. These valves use compressed air to operate. They operate by receiving pneumatic signals to open or close. 
Pneumatic valves are used in various industrial applications including process control, automation, machine control, and robotics to activate pneumatic cylinders and manage pressure levels. Diaphragm valves. Diaphragm valves are also called membrane valves. Diaphragm valve uses a flexible diaphragm to control fluid flow. These valves utilize an elastomeric diaphragm that interacts with the seat to regulate or completely stop the fluid flow. There are two types of diaphragm valves, wear diaphragm valves, and full port diaphragm valves. These valves can handle various types of media, including liquids, gases, and semi-solids like slurries. Pinch valve. Pinch valve is a type of valve designed to control the flow of fluids by pinching a flexible tube or sleeve. Pinch valve uses compressed air or an electric actuator to pinch the sleeve or tube. In the open position, the sleeve is free from compression, allowing fluid to pass through without obstruction. While in close condition, the actuation mechanism pinches the sleeve, cutting off the flow completely. These valves are ideal for handling slurries, granular materials, or corrosive and abrasive fluids. That's all for today's video on the different types of valves used in instrumentation. I hope you found this explanation helpful. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, and, make sure to subscribe to the channel and click the bell icon so you'll never miss any of our upcoming videos. Take care, keep learning.